here. No. <laughs> It'll just be embarrassing. Maybe you cover it with flour. Yeah, that's about it. Just um, in relation to the doctor and Rory, I've noticed through the series from the start, Rory was very wary of the doctor, and over time they seem to have developed an almost brotherly relationship at times. Yeah. But do you still think that as Rory, he kind of, the doctor is almost like that half brother that you want to care for, but you can't always trust because of the danger that he's always. Yeah, in. yeah, absolutely. There is, there is definitely a brotherly thing going on with the, or maybe it's just step brother thing going on. Um, but yeah, I think I think that he does want to like him, but he keeps messing it up. So yeah, it's it's a it is a fascinating relationship. Yeah, that's a good good point. Okay. I hope not. <laughs> uh, cause I'm not. I'm not going to wait around for that long because um, I've wither away. But um, I don't know. No, I mean, I suppose it's difficult to not take stuff home with you. But then, you know, I don't know. I hope. I hope people think expectations of me are as high as they are for for, for Rory. Thank you. Are you going to be in the Christmas episode more than last year? I can't say I can't say anything. <laughs> I would be lynched if I didn't mention anything about anything to do with the future. Um, if you had to do any other job in acting, what would it be? Uh, okay, uh, other than acting, well when I was a kid I did want to I did want to be an archaeologist, but that's just because <coughs> I thought that watching Indiana Jones I thought that was what it was like. <laughs> um, and since then I've met archaeologists and they're not as fun. <laughs> but very interesting. Um, I don't know, I'd like, I'd do something with like, I, I don't know, with animals, with giant animals somewhere. Uh, yeah. I'd like to be an underwater cameraman. <laughs> or a wild, yeah, a wildlife photographer. That, I think that would be pretty cool. I don't know, we just tend to just tease each other quite a lot. Um, well, there was one, well, there was one filming story. We were filming um, in Cardiff in, in a castle um, for the Gambit episode before Christmas last year. This isn't that funny, I apologise, I'll try and put some jokes in it. Um, and I don't know, it's really dull, sorry. Uh, and uh, it was snowing, and it was a bit snowing for days, and it was horrible, and we were freezing, and it was terrible. And then, um, uh, we got into this room, and it was the room where the tarps went to crash down through the through the floor at the end of the episode. And we started rehearsing in there, and the lights started falling on the ice. Uh, at which point, the roof started falling in on our heads, um, <laughs> which was pretty disconcerting. And we had to cancel filming for the day. Hilarious! <laughs> 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 oh god. Uh, yeah. I mean, the only thing funny things that happened were when we were kind of small flying animals around to carry this freak out. Um, yeah. So, in A Good Man Goes to Hell, we had a character that was basically a mirror to Rory. We had a, a warrior who had become a nurse. Okay. Rory is the nurse who became a warrior. Yeah. Are you happy with how his progression has been, and where would you see it going from here on out? Yeah, I don't know where it's going. I mean, I think he's, he's becoming wiser and, and more uh, independently thinking. Is that a real sentence? Yeah, he's using his brain more, uh, and uh, you know he won't lose those elements of his personality that make him Rory. But I think he's becoming a bit more savvy, and I like yeah, I like the fact that he's having to man up a bit. Um, and I don't know, I quite like the the the, the, the finale episode, the uh, uh, the wedding of River Song, because it was a different, it was a completely different version of Rory. It was what he could have been if he could have grown up in a different time in a different place. And kind of, I don't know, there is that, he does have that, 
in him of being kind of a soldier, which he would never have considered before. So I do like the way it's developing, but it's all, you know, it's all up for grabs, and you know, you know the universe can be restarted again, and you can start again. But um, yeah, I'm, I'm fascinated to see where it's going to go. But uh, yeah. Doctor Who set? Uh, we get up at like five, um, and I'm not very good in the mornings, so I tend to have a bit of a grunt on my way to work. Um, get driven to wherever we're filming, have breakfast, and there's 12 hours, we do 12 hour days, so uh, uh, 12 hours of film per day. Um, but there isn't really a typical day because everywhere is so different, and every, every kind of place is kind of new and exciting. Um, I spend a lot of the morning wondering what's for lunch, <laughs> um, and then I drink far too much coffee. Basically, my day consists of thinking about lunch, drinking far too much coffee in the morning, and then crashing in the afternoon, and kind of put myself up somehow, uh, and then demanding sweets. Um, basically, I live like a child, um, <laughs> uh, which, is, which is unhealthy. Um, but yeah, every day is so different uh, that there isn't really a to you know, tease Cara a bit um, <laughs> and then go home and get a run and let my lines get better. Uh, apropos of that, her question, what's the uh, day like for you when you're not working? Like, for example, how does Rory survive a trip to the grocery store or something? Uh, well, my days, are, my days are fun and exciting. Uh, <laughs> I have a real sense of adventure at the moment. I don't know. I go to meetings and see my friends. But you don't have issues like John Behrman, Sister Carol, once talked about the sprint that it was to go to this grocery store with him. Have you gotten to that point? No, 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 not at all. It's kind of fine. I think it's kind of all to do with how you deal with it, really. Uh, I think it's kind of very nice and whatever. I just don't really think about things like that. I just kind of get on with my life, which, which you know, at times can be weird, but then if, you know, if it gets too weird in a place, I just leave your smiles. And I tend not, I don't really let those things worry me very much. Yeah. Uh, I mean, a bit of few. The, the stuff in Girl Who Waited was really challenging, um, but in a, in a positive way. I mean, it's all been kind of hard in a positive way. Um, you know, the hard days are the days where there's not much going on, actually. And you really have to kind of pick yourself up and make sure you're kind of still on that, or you've been waiting around all day to do something, and then there's only five minutes to do it at the end. Those days are, are pretty tricky. Um, and the, yeah, the scene at the end of um, uh, where uh, on the side of the by Stonehenge, um, where me and Karen had a big emotional scene and I killed her. Um, <laughs> that was tough, but again, a lot of fun because you know they're really good scripts and really good, um, uh, really good. I mean, the hardest but actually the hardest stuff to do is just when you've got ones like Doctor. Again and again, you have to say it all day. Uh, and you start going, oh, there's two different ways to say doctor. Karen's got eight different ways that she can say doctor. Uh, and we said that we should have them in her, in her action figure, just different ways. <laughs> doctor! 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 Be brilliant. I think you uh, yeah. What's been some of your favorite lines <coughs> this show so far? Uh, Shut up, Hitler. Was <laughs> Um, she is to me. Um, Stephen's really good at writing scripts, isn't he? Most of my favourite lines are Alex's lines. Alex does get the best lines, the, the best entrances and the best exits. I think it's because Stephen's secretly the love of her. Um, but 
uh, yeah, and she caps it up so we can rock. Um, she's, uh, she's brilliant and really knows how to deliver. I love working with her, it's great. Um, yeah. Okay, just for one or two more. So. Yep. I'm sure half the fan base here wants to know boxers or briefs. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> I mi- do you know what? I mix it up. Today, I've got some Calvin Klein boxes on. Some days I wear, you know, I wear, I wear quite like a colourful white from. It uh, just depends on how I'm feeling. Thank you. Thank you. Um, yeah, I was slightly, slightly concerned. But I was really concerned. I thought, oh no, oh, they don't like me. There's always that thing when you get killed in the TV show. It's like, oh, no, they don't like me. Oh, I feel like I'm a terrible job. Oh, God. 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 Oh, the edge of my seat. It's funny, when I, my reaction when I actually got the job uh, was huge, but then I wasn't allowed to tell anyone. So I was at my parents, I was at my parents' house in Birmingham with my sister, and she was in the kitchen, and I was doing my tax, which was really exciting. Um, so I had receipts everywhere and calculators and wasn't enjoying it one bit. And then got the call and just started to come kind of shouting um, in an excitable way. And then we were like, okay, calm down, calm down, calm down, you don't have to tell anyone. I thought, well, not even my family. They were like, no, not for a few days, just before. I was like, oh, okay. Um, I went to see my sister. She was like, what the hell was that? What's wrong with you? I was like, oh, um, a friend of mine has just given birth. <laughs> it's really exciting. Um, it's just like, all right, we have Next one. There was no Amy. Um, which companion do you think Lloyd would like to go out on a date? Oh. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> which companion would Arthur like to go on a date? That's a good, good question. <laughs> I'm not sure. See, I don't know. I mean, this is going to shock you. I know. But I don't know much of the old Doctor Who stuff. I know. I know. <laughs> uh, but I mean, so I don't really know that many of the... Uh, I know which other sci-fi person I quite like to date with, which is Jane Fonda and Barbara Lowe. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> yeah. 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 Now that we have that image in our mind, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs>